Hi, welcome to this week's YouTube update. I'm Andrew Hyrie and I'm here with my chief game designer, Dave Sanders, and we're here to talk a little bit about the origins of our first game, Full Throttle. Well, when I came up with the concept of Circe's Animal House a long time ago, it was always meant to be a more auteur sort of game. And when we actually came to setting up the project, it was the concept that was ultimately chosen because it was something that I could do in a standard two-flipper format. So it didn't need to be terribly complex, but it also offered something new in terms of the game. What we quickly found out with the operator's market was we really needed an idea that was a bit more mainstream. We decided to change the theme from Circe's Animal House to Full Throttle for two reasons. Firstly, during initial testing of Circe's Animal House, it was felt that the gameplay was very fast, very furious, and had lots of flowing shots. And it lent itself maybe to a faster paced theme of game. Secondly as well, we decided that we needed to have a theme which was much more recognisable to a global market. Therefore, it changed from the Greek mythological theme of Circe's Animal House to Full Throttle, the, the fast paced adrenaline adrenaline charge motorcycle racing theme game. So what can you expect from Full Throttle itself? Well there are two main paths in the game, there's the Challenges path and there's the World Championship career path. In the Challenges path this is all about honing your skills as a motorcycle rider, whether it be stunt racing, street racing or so on. The other aspect of the game is that you are competing in a World Championship, you're trying to beat Francisco Valentino. So you work your way through all of the races in the World Championship and then you have the final wizard mode at the end which is the World Championship mode. As well as this we have a number of other features during the game. We have an easy to reach multi-ball mode. We also have um, octane and the high octane modes as well. You collect accessories along the way. There's a whole host of different features during the game. Now over the coming weeks we are going to show you different aspects of gameplay on our YouTube channel. So we hope that you keep on tuning in to see the different modes as we show them. A highway pinball, we really try to listen to our customers. So we're going to have a feature over the coming weeks where we're going to invite people via our YouTube and Twitter channels and via forums to actually ask us questions directly. And during our YouTube weekly updates, we will do our best to answer your questions.